Hi guys, uh, welcome to another episode of uh, MrLopezClasses.com. Today we are going to talk about the voltage drop. What is the meaning of voltage drop? And uh, what is the procedure to read the voltage drop? Uh, one of the points where uh, the people need to uh, periodically check the voltage drop is in the cranking system, in the start motor of the engines. And uh, there are a lot of uh, misconceptions about uh, where should be located the terminals of uh, my multimeter uh, to read the voltage. Uh, in order to verify if uh, the voltage drop during the cranking in my engine uh, pass the limit. Mm, what is the limit? Depends on the manufacturer. Uh, you check the service manual. In the service manual, in the first page, you have uh, information about the voltage drop accepted for that engine. Uh, in some cases, it's uh, uh, no less than 10.5 volts. In other uh, uh, diesel engine, it's no less than 9.5 volts. Um, okay, check check the manual, check the service manual on your engine and very high, verify what is the voltage drop recommended for the manufacturer. And uh, what is the procedure in what part of the cranking system is that uh, uh, the voltage drop should be maximum? Okay, uh, of course, the voltage maximum, uh, the voltage drop maximum should be at the solenoid of the star motor. Uh, this is, uh, this is, uh, in the point where the voltage decreases in the maximum point. Uh, how is the process to, to check voltage? Remember that uh, to check voltage, you need the, the negative terminal and the positive terminal uh, because you read potential difference. Potential difference. Ah, yes, you need one terminal in the negative, one terminal in the negative of the battery, and other terminal in the positive of the battery to verify the voltage with the battery at rest. For example, in this moment, uh, the system is not running and the voltage is uh, 12.35. It's 12.35. This is the voltage with the battery at rest. Mm, okay, we are going to analyze quickly uh, the components of the cranking system in a typical inboard marine engine. We have the battery. Uh, we have uh, the battery switch selector. It's one switch selector exactly like this. Uh, it's here. And uh, after that, uh, the pot from the output of the switch selector, the, the positive enter in the crank relay. And uh, from the output of the crank relay, the positive continue into the uh, solenoid of the star motor. In the solenoid of the star motor, you have another small cable, the yellow red cable, coming from the position star in the ignition switch. Okay, and that's it. Uh, the position uh, uh, ignition on the ignition switch activate the relay uh, to close the gap in between the input and the output. When the relay is activated, the current pass from this point through this point, and we have current over there. In this moment, I have current over there, but uh, the engine is not cranking because I need to send the signal to the, with the yellow-red cable into the start position, the signal position in the solenoid of the start mode. Uh, where should be uh, the maximum voltage drop? The maximum voltage drop should be here because the, the, the current travel from the positive of the battery enter into the into the battery switch selector after that into the crank relay and after that here if you check the voltage in in between the positive of uh, the battery and uh, and the battery switch selector is exactly the same in between the battery switch selector and uh, the and the input of the relay is the same no voltage drop and now we are going to check the voltage between the positive of uh, the battery uh, and uh, and uh, the positive of uh, the solenoid of the star motor. Of course, the negative of the multimeter should be connected here in the negative boost bar of the battery or directly into the negative post of the, uh, of the battery. And the other one, the positive, will be connected here directly in this point. And now we are going to read the, when I crank it, we are going to check how much is the voltage drop. Okay, and this is the process. We are going to crank it. Okay, the voltage decreased 11.74. All right, uh, in this particular case, we don't have a load, and uh, of course, uh, uh, the reading is good, it's accepted, but uh, if uh, the engine is connected, if the star motor is connected with the flywheel and the transmission, probably the voltage drop should be more. This is the process. The process to read the voltage drop is in between the negative of the battery and uh, the positive terminal of the solenoid of the star motor.